Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Wes. I am excited to be here again. It was fantastic being able to get with you and Mr. Rosenberg and find out information, especially in the event of when somebody's had an accident. Mr. Rosenberg last week shared with me some amazing insights, things that I had never, never even thought about in the event of an accident. Um, for example, if an accident, if I'm, if I'm driving and doing a delivery for on the job, using my car, and if I ran over to Kansas and I got into an accident, I didn't know that there'd be three different entities involved in something that could be so simple. So being able to put this information together is just absolutely amazing, and I am learning a ton, and I wanted to say thank you so very, very much. You're welcome. Mr. Rosenberg shared a little behind the scenes uh, information where the insurance company had called and said, yeah, we paid a medical bill of, you know, 53000 some odd dollars, or we settled a medical bill for 53000 some odd dollars. And he said, really, show me the invoice. And I didn't know, and I wasn't aware, that insurance companies would play that game to try and extract money out of your settlement case because the deal they could negotiate for settling that medical bill and the deal that the what's actually the paid amount two different numbers but the insurance company wants to charge you well the bill was 53,000 they're not disclosed they don't want to disclose that they settled it for 22 and that that comes right out of your settlement and that's right I mean the insurance companies what what people don't understand at least they they don't have a clear picture of is that the insurance companies uh, when an accident occurs or somebody's looking for compensation, the adjuster's job is to buy that claim as cheaply as they can. And they're not really bound. I mean, the ethics considerations are pretty loose. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll tend to play a little fast and loose with facts, and they won't, they won't inform you of, of what your rights are and, and what the real facts are. Uh, so they'll manipulate things to their advantage. I mean, I, you know, most of these adjusters are, you know, for the most part, they're decent people. But, but their pressure from their supervisors, from the organization they work for, is to settle those claims as cheaply as they can. And they've got certain tools they'll use, and sometimes they'll, they'll take positions that don't even have any real basis in fact, and just because they know that uh, they've got the leverage because you're not, you're not in a position to, to effectively do anything about it. And if you're unrepresented, you know, you're in trouble. 